In today's video, we're going to be checking out Kai Soto, some of the improvements that he's made recently, and of course, his recent FIBA game. So let's get down, let's check him out. If you want to be able to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. So in this first clip, we're going to check out Kai Soto and of course, how he's able to get this rebound. So coming off of this missed layup, he's able to get this tip slam. There were a few mistakes that were on the floor. Let's break them down really quickly. Number one, if somebody is going out to play help defense, in this case, that's what's happening. This defender should be coming down to try and jam or at least box out Kai Soto. That didn't happen, so that's why Kai Soto was able to get that board and a dunk. Coming off of this screen, Kai Soto actually rolled to the basket quite hard, and then with the passing that the Philippines used here quickly to get it to the corner, move that guy out, which then pulled up that middle defender because he was worried about the high post man, which then allowed Kai Soto to be wide open, and he was able to score. The reason why he was able to score right here is because he didn't land with the ball. If he was to land with the ball, he had three guys around him. Nobody wants Kai Soto to be able to score in the close to the rim, which is why the that he needs to be able to do these alley-oops. If not for that, he would have had that ball probably stolen. Now, this is actually a very interesting play. It's kind of unorthodox, at least over here in North America, but what you're going to have is two guys set up in the high post, one guy in the weak side, low post, and the the weak side, non-ball side uh, corner. And what you're going to have here is this guy screens up for this man, and Kai Soto screens for the corner. And this guy's first option historically Historically, with a play like this would be two ball side. However, what we actually have here is after the screen, Kai Soto got hit really hard. This man dropped off because nobody wants anything in the paint. And that allowed Kai Soto to drop or pop out for the, to the corner for that three-point shot. And of course, historically, this would be a uh, kind of a low percentage uh, shot because, of course, this is across the key. But this man was not in position to be able to intercept that pass. He was more worried about the guy cutting across the key, which then allowed Kai Soto to hit that three. He's, look, he's pointing to the ground. I'm not too sure what four maybe he thought it was a travel but this is not a travel he caught it on the left foot went right left you're allowed two steps so of course that's the shot that Kai Soto made this is just really great off ball movements so what we have here is the corner man he's clearing out to the opposite side we have a point to wing screen and Kai Soto who was in the low post is popping out towards this wing and popping out popping out to that wing after the screen is actually a very good idea it's clearing out space in the paint but also it's allowing his teammate to pass him the ball he could have obviously taken that shot there's enough space here and that's something that Kai Soto needs to be able to get better at now looking at trying to get into the NBA he needs to look at least at least look like he's a threat from the three-point line because he's got a good enough shot to be able to do that he should be popping out much faster and be getting this 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 ball on this wing he should be going up for that shot right away not waiting for this guy to clear out however i do commend him for the fact that he attacked the rim with one dribble and he was able to get that pass down and basically set it up perfectly for his teammate to get that layup so that was a good pass but he should be looking at like more of a threat out on the three-point line now this is something that i really want to see more about with kai soto and that is his ability to catch and shoot in transit or what i call transition even though the offense is setting up it's it's just basically him running down on offense and taking this shot if if teams are going to give you this shot i don't care what position you play you need to be able to take that shot and that is what we are starting to see with kai soto he's hitting more and more threes i also like the fact that he's looking to block shots straight up instead of trying to hack down on these shots so defensively he's going to be a very strong player now this is something that the philippines have to really look for and that is against especially against smaller teams you can send up alley-oops to Kai Soto who's in the paint quite often and he's going to be able to make those very easily he could easily probably get 10 points a game just off of those alone I also like how he's starting to punish the rim a lot more this really does set the tone in games and if you can obviously if you can dunk in game then this is something that you should be really starting to do because this will set the score this is what will demoralize other teams. 
Now this is actually very similar to a play that I run called four. And what we do is just pass to the high post. This is a bit higher than the high post, but then have the point man cut to the rim. And this is just a quick drop pass to that man. It's, it's almost an easy 100% bucket every single time. Now this is something that he needs to watch out for, and that is bringing the ball down to his waist right there. What we see right here, he should be keeping it a, a lot higher. This would be, uh, NBA players would be hacking away at this all day long. He gets it up fast enough to be able to get that basket, but but try to get it up as early as you can so that you don't get it hacked away. Referees don't usually see hacks down here. Kai Soto is becoming a beast and it's really going to be interesting what happens in the future with Kai Soto. Will he be able to make the NBA? I think that he has the skills. There is just a lot of hurdles that he has to cross to be able to make it to that level. Either way, he's going to be a dominant force for the Philippines for a very long time. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. And I'll see you guys again next time.